This is a cheap microphone and today we're gonna make it sound like this. My voice now has become so much deeper and crisp. And the funny thing about this is we're only gonna use one effect in Premiere Pro. Before we start this tutorial, I wanna say that I'm not professional by any means when it comes to audio. I'm just learning and every time I've learned something new, I share it in this channel so we all can learn together. Let's start this tutorial. All right, so welcome to Premiere Pro. So this is the intro that you've seen in the beginning of this video. It's here at first, then we see how can we make it better. This is a cheap microphone and today we're gonna make it sound like this. My voice now has become so much. Okay, so let's make a cut right here and to make it easy for us to hear the difference. And we're only gonna work in this part right here. Now let's go to the effects and type in mastering. And drag it to the part that we're gonna work on. Now let's go to the effect control and click on edit. So this is the effect that we're gonna use. And now go to the preset and select make room for vocal. And this is pretty much all the effects. Now let's hear it first and see if there is actually any difference. This is a cheap microphone and today we're gonna make it sound like this. My voice now has become so much deeper and crisp. And the funny thing about this is we're only gonna use one effect in Premiere Pro. This is a cheap microphone and today we're gonna make it sound like this. My voice now has become so much deeper and crisp. And the funny thing about this is we're only gonna use one effect in Premiere Pro. I don't know what do you think guys, but the voice now has more bass to it. The quality has been improved a lot and there is a massive difference between the two. And if you think the effect is not enough, go to loudness maximizer and increase the slider until you think it's enough. But in my case, I think this is enough and I'm happy with the result. I'm happy with the result. So yeah, there we have it guys. One tip in Premiere Pro to get a better audio. Try it for yourself and see if it was helpful or not. And if you have a better technique, make sure to leave a comment below so we all can learn together. Like this video if it was helpful and subscribe if you want to see more content like this. And I will see you in the next one.